technology is constantly evolving. I have become a digital native by choice, others are so by birth. Kids? Well, they will have to know even more about tech. So how should we prepare them? One, two, three, four. Today, a lot of things we do or use are based on code. Whether it's replying to an Insta story, ordering food while sitting on the couch in our pajamas, or even streaming a movie. Kids these days know how to unlock cell phones, play games and watch videos before they can even speak properly. But like most of us, they don't know how these technologies work. So, should every child learn how to code? And how do you get your children interested? Let's take a look. But before we do, hit the subscribe button if you want to stay on top of what's happening in the digital world. First things first. Coding or computer programming is the language you need to tell computers to perform different tasks. Though computers can perform all of these tasks very precisely, they still cannot decide on their own. They have to be told what to do and how to do it step by step. Why should you get your child interested? Almost every job right now requires some form of computer literacy. Most of the jobs in the future will require even more than that. First and foremost, so-called STEM jobs. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. I'm talking computer programmers, data scientists, software engineers and so on. They rank among the highest paying jobs. Still, the number of vacant positions is quite large. The reason? There are not enough graduates with a required skill set. So thinking of your kids, there are loads of job opportunities coming up. But even if your kid doesn't want to work in tech, a basic understanding of coding will be important in every field. Already today, thousands of industries depend on computer programs to run their operations. And it's not just data analysis. Code is the backbone of work in the finance sector, the health sector, the food industry, customer services or education. So even if your child wants to be a doctor, it's important that it understands how exactly artificial intelligence works, for example, because it might help in analyzing data sets of patients. Beyond being able to score a well-paying job, programming skills also have personal benefits. They help develop creative and cognitive skills. They improve memory and boost brain power and children and even us adults develop problem solving skills that help relate to the world in general. How? Coding essentially involves taking a bigger problem and breaking it down into smaller and simpler problems. Once they get used to it, children can approach problems in every other domain of their life in a similar fashion. But how do you get your kids interested in coding? First, find out what they want to create. A video game, a robot or an interactive story. And it's even more important to follow their lead, even if their ideas seem absurd at first. Creativity is a kid's main asset when it comes to coding. Programs that teach how to code should thus adapt to that. Here are two examples of programs you can try out with your kid. Tinker is an educational programming platform from the US. It's aimed at teaching children how to make games and programs. The idea? Make coding a game. Instead of typing source code, you visually drag blocks of code and simply snap them together. According to the company, 60 million kids worldwide have used Tinker already. The app offers self-paced online courses for children to learn coding at home and it also provides a programming curriculum for schools and camps. With the app, you can even create your own Minecraft worlds and invite your friends. Wait, really? I gotta try this too. For a more hands-on approach, you could try the likes of Robo Wunderkind. The Vienna startup offers a kit that children can use to build robots and program them via an app. There are lots of similar sets on the market. With a coding app, kids can choose commands via drag and drop and watch their robots execute set commands. The kit is geared to young children. For Jarotska, it is also a personal goal to motivate more girls to enter the tech world. Not even 20% of tech jobs in tech companies are held by women. 
At Google, women hold only 17% of the tech jobs, 15% at Facebook and 10% at Twitter. Man muss schauen, dass Mädchen an, äh, an sich glauben und sich auch für technische Berufe entscheiden. Das ist ganz wichtig, weil also wir verlieren wirklich ich meine, 95 Prozent von Mädchen irgendwo auf dem Weg und das passiert noch in der Grundschule. There's no way around it. Learning how to code is becoming a necessary skill, especially for the younger generation. Some of the world's greatest minds continuously keep on emphasizing on its importance. Hence, it becomes quite logical to encourage kids to take up coding at a very young age. That way, they can prepare themselves for what the future holds for them. What do you think about the topic? Do you have any experience with coding programs? Let us know in the comments. And if you have a digital topic for us to cover, let us know as well. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and see you next time. Bye.